the legislative system in Poland has for many years failed to meet the expectations regarding its basic function, high quality law making instrument. As a consequence, many laws and other legal acts are prepared without a sufficient number of expert opinions or proper consultation with all interested parties. This leads to a frequent situations where in the short term from the introduction of the new regulation, some provisions require changes or improvement. This is happening because some significant aspects and some negative effects have not been taken into account. As a result, there are many regulations that bring unintended effects. This is a great, there is a great book by Frederick Bastiat, What is Seen and What is Not Seen. Bastiat presents obvious consequences of an economic acts as well as some other consequences that are not seen at first glance. Many unintended consequences of laws could be avoided in time if the legislative process included a full impact assessment of the laws introduced. On the other hand, there are many cases there is a lack of in-depth economic and social evaluation of the regulations. Let me present to you some unintended effects of regulations in Poland. I will start with cigarette excise tax increases resulting in reduced budget revenues. The example of continuous increases in excise duty rates on cigarettes proves how unreflective some legislative changes can be. Excise tax excise tax is one of the main sources of budget revenues from taxes. If used wisely, it has a significant impact on public finances. However, the aggressive application of this tax is counterproductive. In the years 2004 to 2014, the excise duty due, to, due on a pack of cigarettes increased by approximately 200%, while budget revenues did not grow at such a fast pace. This is, of course, due to the shadow economy, the share of which in tobacco products uh, grew year by year, causing significant reductions in the state budget. The year 2013 was significant in this respect, when despite another increase in the excise duty on cigarettes, budget revenues from the excise duty on tobacco products decreased by about 400 million Polish zloty compared to 2012 and finally turned out to be as much as 2.2 billion Polish zloty lower than originally planned by the Ministry of Finance. It can therefore be indicated that the effects of the increase in the excise duty on cigarettes in 2013 resulted in the breaking point of the Laffer curve being exceeded. The share of the informal economy in the tobacco products market in 2013 was about 25%. On the other hand, we have a positive example. This is the case related to the multiple reduction of excise duty rates on alcohol. It shows that the most important aspect is to determine the golden mean between the tax rate and the needs of the public finances. In the years 1995, to 2001, the excise duty on alcohol increased by a total of about 200%, while at the same time the annual revenues from excise duty on spirits decreased by about 750 million Polish zloty. The negative consequences of raising tax rates have been felt by both the state budget and the private sector, the spirits industry. The shadow economy grew significantly along with the rise in excise duty rates. However, since 2002, a number of significant excise tax reductions were decided, which translated into a long-term upward trend in revenues from these products to the level of 6.5 billion Polish zloty in 2009. Through this action, the circle of entities paying excise duty was expanded while reducing the shadow economy. Despite these positive experiences, in 2013 the excise duty on ethyl alcohol was again increased by 15%.
Another example of unintended effects of a regulation is so-called bank tax, effective, effective from February 2016. It is paid not only by banks, but also other financial institutions in the amount of 0.5% of the value of assets held. The main purpose of this levy is to generate additional budget revenues, thanks to which it is possible to implement a number of government programs. Obviously, apart from increasing the pool of, fine, of public funds, the new tax was supposed to burden banks' op operations financially, thus reducing their profitability. When proceeding with the regulation, the government assumed that banks would sacrifice their own profits and profitability of operations in order to pay the taxes to the state budget. However, this did not happen, which was known from the very beginning to a wide group of entities and institutions studying the effects of the proposed regulation. In reality, another indirect tax was introduced which hit citizens' assets. The banks immediately reacted to the additional burdens by reducing interest rates on deposits and increasing the cost of the loan. In addition, they also started to increase the costs and commissions related to other banking products and did not change the approach to date. Attention should be paid to the current situation which is the result of the amendment to the pharmaceutical law which entered into force in June 2017, completely overturning the Polish pharmacy market. The amendment introduced very restrictive rules for opening new, generally accessible pharmacies. The new facility must cover at least 3,000 residents and be at least 500 meters from an existing pharmacy. The most significant change, however, was the introduction of the pharmacy for a pharmacist principle, whereby the owner of a pharmacy may only be a pharmacist or a partnership of pharmacies. Considering that before the amendment of the Act, a pharmacy could be operated by an entrepreneur, the current system is one of the most restrictive closed systems in Europe, in which strict ownership, quantitative geographic and demographic restrictions are in force. After more than three years of operation of the pharmacy for a pharmacist regulation, it is clear that none of the objectives presented in the justification to the Act has been achieved. One of them was the increase in number of pharmacies in villages and small towns, which however is not happening at all. On the contrary, the liquidation of pharmacy facilities has most affected villages and small towns, where access to pharmaceutical services is usually difficult. Since the entry into force of the pharmacy for pharmacies principle, the only functioning pharmacy facility has been closed in 86 villages and small towns. In their place, no new drug supply has appeared. In addition, Almost 1,200 pharmacy outlets have disappeared from the market throughout Poland since the introduction of this regulation until 2020. Complicated, difficult to interpret and frequently changing law becomes an increasing barrier in the Polish economy. The most developed world economies have been trying for many years to minimize regulatory barriers both in the regulations already in force and in the creation of new ones. One of the main instruments they use is the practical knowledge and experience of representatives of the social side in creating regulations. Political short-sightedness should be avoided. We can only hope that the public and thus politicians will pay more attention to the effects of regulations, also those not intended. Thank you.